Yeah, I think from here on out, anytime a guy approaches me, I'm going to just give them all the cons about me. I'm going to give them the pros and the cons, but I'm going to give them the cons first just to see if they want to deal with it. You know, I'm going to just go ahead and run it down and be like, I'm 27 with an 11-year-old. His father is not in the picture, so I have no baby daddy drama. I live with my mama. I got a good paying job, but I have nothing in my savings. I have good credit, you know. I'm emotionally damaged. I am working on it. I do have trust issues, but I'm not really going to go to the extreme to where I make you feel uncomfortable. But I will voice whenever something is out the way to me. I do deal with depression, so a lot of times I do need reassurance that you actually care. And then tomorrow never come. Um, yeah, I know how to cook, but I'm not going to cook for somebody who's not going to get the groceries. You know, I don't mind catering to someone, but at the same time, you have to give me something to cater to, you know. I don't mind submitting. I actually kind of want to submit because this little working woman thing, you know, this ain't, this ain't for me. I was not a part of this march. If I was alive back then, I would have been like, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm going to stay at home. I'm going to make sure dinner is ready for my man by the time he get home because I am, mm -mm, I don't want to be that strong, independent woman. Uh-uh. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. This is too much work. So, yeah. Yeah. Black Ram 313 back at it again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video. Hence, another therapy session. Man, I thought this was a great tale hell video man social media reveals the truth as they tell of themselves each and every time but we're going to break this down title of this video is nurse admits how terrible dating her will be and of course this may be typical out here on the modern dating scene and i would like to say that this is yet another example, example number 943, of why dating is done in the West. Stick a fork in it. It's amazing how the ladies are always talking about how no man can meet their standards. That the guys out here are just simply not good enough for them they don't measure up they don't want to settle for average guys out here they we me just don't meet their requirements because they have standards however the video that you just watched shows that the modern lady doesn't meet our requirements either or at least shouldn't because of what was revealed now i know a lot of guys really don't have much that they require most of us many of us especially the s i m p will accept pretty much anything and wife up anything but this video is not for those types of dudes this is for guys who actually have some form of self-worth self-confidence self-esteem and self-value now once you approach such a lady as in the beginning of the video once you get to know her, if the honesty comes out, it will reveal the quality of such an individual, which is typically low. Now, she is upfront and letting you know everything that you should expect, everything that you should be getting from her in particular in the relationship so kudos once again to her for the honesty that was shown here and the thing is is that her situation that she explained is not unique but again i say it's typical 
for those on the modern dating scene today. Now, I got quite a few points to make, about five, and I want to give a real, real breakdown of the things that was said. And as she said, she talked about the pros and the cons of dating her. So let's look at those cons and compare those to the pros. Now, remember, this is from her own admission, not my words, but I'm going to give my critique on what was said. Again, a real peel break down. So coming in at number one, she said that she's 27 with an 11 year old and the father is not in the picture thus no baby daddy drama so what is a con she actually tried to make into a pro a positive but nah 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 it's all bad i mean it's all bad so much so that she came out swinging from the start <laughs> So basically, I interpret this as you have a dependent, your 11 year old, without any assistance whatsoever, most likely meaning that such will be a burden financially on any man you deal with, because although you didn't say this, we know that they like to claim the so-called package deal, <laughs> a ready-made family. Single mommy, dad nowhere around. And because the dad is nowhere around, you might be asked to pick up such pieces, to fill in such a blank, to make use of your finances to effectively benefit her and the 11 year old. And this also is indicative of poor decision making. See, baby daddy ain't around. However, you pick such a guy who would not be around. Now, you didn't go into the circumstances of such. But more than likely, typically, and usually, you choose the guys that we can expect not to be around to raise the child. Now, such a thing becomes the man that you're dating or dealing with. That becomes his responsibility, which is a serious liability, especially since you didn't have any fun making such a liability. See, we're starting off on the wrong track already, already in left field. And let's be honest, fellas, if you're dealing with such, then you are the one who's settling and it don't look good doesn't look good fortunately for her there are a lot of guys who don't value themselves enough to not settle for such what a sad state of affairs number two she said that speaking of the cons she stays with her mama okay i can understand that However, she mentioned that she had no savings whatsoever. Hmm. She said there's nothing in her savings account, although she has a good paying job. And kudos to her for having good credit, as she stated. But you have nothing in your savings account. Good job. So I could guess or assume that annually, monthly and weekly, your income is there. And probably substantial if you are a nurse. However, you have no savings, which means that you seriously lack financial management skills because you don't have a savings, which means you probably spend way more than you should, which is a huge detriment. Especially for the man who takes you seriously. Your lack of money management skills also shows a lack of discipline in these matters, which is a recipe for pure disaster. 
27 years old with an 11 year old and you can't manage to save money although you live with your mama ah oh, that tells me a lot it tells me that you're going to be a burden financially on any guy who sees a future or takes you seriously and that sees a future in you what a terrible deal you live with your mama but yet you can't save anything you're not paying rent per se or a mortgage but you still have no savings wow does that sound like a great wife and partner right there fellas you be the judge and it seems that she's tailor-made for guys who want to wear a cape as it appears that she needs someone to swoop down and definitely save her are you going to be at the creature's rescue imagine a future with such an individual who has money coming in but an inability to save it due to poor financial management or at least not prioritizing saving which in my opinion is the same thing a red flag indeed but hey thank you for your honesty number three is a big one for me she spoke of emotional damage along with in tandem now trust issues that's heavy now she claims that there is no drama but i will disagree here see trust issues is automatic drama it's automatic let me see what's going on in your phone it's automatic where you at what are you doing it's automatic Move to me, you are where you say you are to be. It spells D R A M A to me, Missy. Drama. Trust issues. Mm -mm. That's a rough one right there. That is a true burden and an emotional drain for me. So let's talk about this. See, sweetheart, I am not the cause or reason for your trust issues. I am not the reason or cause for your paranoia. I'm not the one who ruined it for you. I should not repeat. I should not repeat. I should not have to be the one to pay for the decisions you made that ended up in causing you emotional damage and trust issues. Now, this makes for a very stressful relationship right off the bat. And again, these trust issues most likely stem from your poor choices that you made in dating over the years. Your poor and consistently poor choices. As indicated by the fact that you have an absentee baby daddy. So all of that trauma and drama, you want to lay right in the lap of the man that you're dating. This doesn't look like a good deal. Now, although she is fairly attractive, this is a ratings channel. So for what my eyes can see, I would give her a six on the look scale. However, looks aside, her issues are innumerable, making such look worse and worse. Now back to the emotional issues. Back to the trust issues. Dealing with such an individual, you're asking for your peace that you may be enjoying in your life to be removed. Such emotional issues will surely hinder the growth of the relationship. It will surely hinder your ability to enjoy the relationship. This will hinder the ability for you to be close to her in the relationship. This will surely hinder your happiness as a man in such a relationship with someone who has so many issues emotionally. Now, I've been in relationships of ladies who have emotional and trust issues and let me tell you let me tell you 
that such is absolutely draining on the soul and the psyche if you care for such an individual. See, you will find yourself completely depleted of energy and lowering your own emotional vibration and state by dealing with such an individual who has these problems, man. I don't know about you, but Black Mountain Three is a type of guy who loves loving, who is emotional when it comes to the ladies. When they have emotional and trust issues, who Charlie, this becomes a huge problem and block for you. I'm talking about a complete energy drain and in a sense for me this is probably the biggest red flag there is when it comes to what she stated about herself my goodness I'm just glad that she's being honest and telling the truth on how bad it is out here on the dating scene many ladies have issues like this and more in fact their issues are hers Plus more to the tenth power. My goodness. Moving along to number four, she mentioned that she would need reassurance. Reassurance. Because she often doesn't feel so well about herself. Okay. And let me tell you, the reassurance from my experience when an individual needs that, you could never give them enough reassurance. And in a sense, by saying that you need reassurance from me, lets me know that the call is upon me to fix all of these internal issues that no one can fix, sweetheart, but you. That's the only person that can fix these issues, you. But you're calling upon me to relieve you of such burdens that you laid upon yourself through your own choices. And I don't think that's fair to acts of any human being for somebody to carry that internal weight for you, thus sharing in your burdens that are left over, sharing in your burdens, your issues, your trauma, your drama that are left over from your relationships with others. Bring on and into a relationship with the next guy. So he has to repair and clean up all of your poor choices made with other guys. Where is his fulfillment in the relationship? So he has to deal with your financial issues, your parental issues, and your emotional issues? What kind of deal is that? Thank you for being honest, sweetheart. Yeah, thank you for being honest. Thank you for showing that it's over. I've said over and over again, it's over in the West for dating, man. Now, I'm not saying that they don't have issues in other places, but my goodness, man. This is a lot to handle here. Such a burden is modern dating upon modern men. And they're claiming that you don't meet their standards. Who? Luckily for them, most guys don't have any standards at all and will accept anything. But my goodness, what a terrible deal. Number five. Now we're getting into the pros. <laughs> if there are any, right? Getting into the pros. She said, hey, she will cater and cook for you. Okay. She can cook. Okay. So you have to deal with all of those cons, and you get this one little pro that's not substantial at all. Minute. See, here's the thing. Most of us guys can cook and clean for ourselves. So let me get this straight, sweetie. I have to deal with all of your issues just for you to cook a meal. A meal in which I have to buy at the grocery store so you can prepare, as I believe you stated. 
but I get a cooked meal in return for dealing with all of your financial and emotional issues. <laughs> what a joke, man. What a joke. And I don't even blame her for such a thing. I don't blame her. I blame us as men for this. Yeah, I blame us. I blame us because this is a reflection of how, as men, we want and expect so little but are giving so much. I'm going to say this again. Now, she listed cooking as a pro or a reason to date her. As a pro, despite all of her issues. This is what she has to offer. So little. But you have to deal with so much. Why is it that as a man, what you expect is so little? Why is it as a man that you're so cheap? Where's your own self-worth and value? This reflects again how as men we expect so little but are giving so much. And I'm sorry, fellas. It's hard to respect most guys, man. Expecting so little but giving so much. Fellas, expect better. This attitude that we're seeing here is a direct result of you expecting so little, wanting so little out of a relationship. But you have to give so much. My goodness, fellas. Number six and last. The issue, the subject of submission appear. Submission with a condition. And that condition is that you take care of her financially because as she said and stated, she's tired of working. Let's examine that for a moment as we bring this video to an end. So let me get this straight. The submission, the cost of such is all of the bag that the man has. And it's because you're tired of working. So it's not even organic. And for your so-called submission and cooking, what a man has to deal with and put up with is your 11-year-old and your financial mismanagement and your emotional issues. In exchange for so-called submission, a man has to feed and clothe not only you, but your offspring and take care of the bills. Your offspring by another man, by the way. And what he gets is a cooked meal and pseudo submission. It's not that submission is worth anything. That's a figment of the egotistical male's imagination. Think about it. But with all of these negatives, with all these liabilities, what you're bringing to the table is cooking and pretend submission. Huh. Wow, man. Wow. Now, I know you brothers are going to disagree, but I've said this and stated this over and over again. I will continue to do so. What is the value of submission from an H to the Izzo? Bozo? I would like to know. And of course, there is no value. The only value exists in your brain and your head because of your overinflated ego and your need for validation. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking to the men because this seems like the epitome of weakness. You're accepting such a lousy deal because you need to feel validated. You need to feel like a man. In exchange, you take care of the creature's offspring and also the creature itself. <laughs> man, what a joke. But it's our own fault. 
for one and expecting so little, but giving so much. Where is your self value? Now, I know this doesn't apply to you all listening to me, or at least most. But this is definitely a message to the S, to the I, to the M, to the P. What a terrible deal. You're offering all of the tangibles, providing and protecting all of the tangibles while the creature gets the intangibles or gives the intangibles, I should say, to you. Pseudo submission. <laughs> Pseudo submission in exchange for provision and protection, man. <laughs> and your reward is you get to take care of her and an 11 year old. My goodness, man. My goodness, it is truly over with. Truly over with. And brothers who are involved heavily in the dating game in the West are surely losing. You're losing. You deal with all of this just so you can pop your chest. You said that you're the man and you're the boss. You want to provide all of these things that she's asking for just so you can get a pat on the back. My goodness, man. My goodness. All I can say is that I guess some of you guys, not all of us, because some of us are awake, right? But for many of you guys, you will continue to listen to your favorite dating coaches um, so that you can be well equipped to give this young lady all that she's asking for and getting nothing but liabilities in return. What a mess. It is here in the West. So enjoy this low quality that's out here, fellas. Continue to enrich your dating coaches. Continue to support the mess that is the West. All I can say is good luck to you. Like, subscribe, share. Black Ram 313. I'm out.